What's up all you mentees? Uncanny Omar here from Near Mint Condition, the home of collected editions. And today, I get to announce one brand new Marvel Omnibus coming out in June of 2024. You don't want to miss this one. This video is sponsored by Marvel Comics, so thank you so much to David Gabriel and the fine folks at Marvel for sending us advance notice of this book. I can't believe we're already talking about a book coming out in June of 2024, but that's the way books are being solicited these days. So go ahead and smash that like button. Believe me, you're going to want to smash that like button. Should be anyway, though. Uh, show the love, show the love. Spread news of the video, share the video, let others know where you get your breaking news in the world of the Marvel Collected Editions. And make sure you subscribe so you know when our videos are going live. And of course, hit that little bell for notifications. That definitely lets you know when our videos are going live. All right, let's talk about this one. I said you're going to want to smash the like button. You're not going to want to miss this one. Why is that? Well, because as the guy that gets to break the news, as the guy that reads all the comments, this is one that is definitely up in the top of most wanted Marvel Omnis. I'm talking about a book that is Spider-Man related. So the Arachnite is getting some love again. And this is the number one requested book that I've seen in the comments section. And I am talking about Coming in June of 2024, it is my absolute pleasure to get to announce Spider-Man by Michelini and Bagley Omnibus Volume 1. So, Volume 1, interesting. Let's take a look at your standard edition cover first. This standard edition cover is supplied by Mark Bagley. And, oh my gosh, it's got all of the villains in there. Tarantula, I don't know why I started with Tarantula, but Scorpion and Rhino and Doc Ock and Venom and Carnage sneaking in in the back. It's been a long time since I've seen this piece, so I'm so glad they're using this particular cover as the standard edition cover. And, of course, inked by Romita. But what exactly is collected in here since I said it was a volume one? Well, let's look at the content down below. This collects Amazing Spider-Man 351 to 375, Amazing Spider-Man Annual 25 and 26, material from Spectacular Spider-Man Annuals 11 and 12, Web of Spider-Man Annual 7 and 8, and New Warriors Annual number 2. So if you have the Spider-Man books in oversized hardcover format, if you've been collecting them in omnibus format, this immediately lines up with the... Eric Larson omnibus. So he goes the David Michelini, McFarlane omnibus, then the Eric Larson omnibus, and then now the Spider-Man by Michelini and Bagley omnibus. So yeah, because that one ends in 350. So this collects things in here like the Vibranium Vendetta, the Heroes Killers, or the Hero Killers, the Round Robin Sidekicks Revenge, which we've seen in the Moon Knight Omnibus Volume 1, the Mark Spector Moon Knight Omnibus Volume 1. Hopefully we'll have the fold-out cover for this one, though. That, I love that cover. And uh, that one was written by Al Milgram. So we still have a bit to go because this is a Volume 1, and the Clone Saga starts with Amazing Spider-Man 394. So we still have issues 376, to 393 to go so plenty enough for a volume two be interesting to see how things like maximum carnage are collected in in that particular book though so before i go any further talking about some of the things you're going to find in this book let's look at your direct market cover so here is your direct market cover again supplied by none other than mark bagley and a direct market cover is this amazing image of spider-man against venom and carnage now Again, I don't know if it'll be a wraparound cover, kind of like what they're doing with Wolverine Omnibus Volume 4, or if it will just be on the front, like in a widescreen mode. But I've always been a big fan of this image. I just think that Bagley had the perfection of drawing Venom and the perfect Carnage. Of course, he is the co-creator of Carnage. Let's talk about what you're going to be finding in here, because I mentioned the Round Robin Sidekicks Revenge. That's, of course, the team up with Moon Knight, Nova, Punisher, Dark Hog. And, you know, we're also going to get a big row gallery, kicking it off with the Tri-Sentinel story in here. You have Cardiac, Carnage making his first full appearance in this. The Shocker, Scorpion, Chameleon, the Spider Slayer, the Invasion of the Spider Slayer stories in here. And then, of course, the Return of Venom. Now, Spider-Man isn't alone. You know, like I said, he teams up with the Punisher, Darkhawk, Nova, Night Thrasher, Moon Knight. 
and also teaming up with Solo and Black Cat. You have artwork in here from not only just Mark Bagley, because the annuals are in here, but Scott McDaniels, Guang Yap, Jerry Bingham, Mary Severin, and Chris Mer Merinan, just to name a few of the artists that work are in this particular omnibus. So those are your two covers. That is the content. And that's a little bit of what stories are in here. So yes, this goes in between the Larson Omnibus and the Clone Saga Omnibus, if you're getting them in Omni format only. But that's it. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of the content, what you think of the covers, and what you would like to see in a Spider-Man by Michelinie and Bagley Omnibus Volume 2, and what other Spider-Man Omnis you want to see. Hit that like button on the way out. Everyone stay healthy and safe. It's finally coming out. Spider-Man by Michelinie and Bagley, and now you all know, make mine marble.